Hi, in this session, I'm going to show you how to hide columns. So in instances where we maybe we have some financial data or sales data, we may have times where we'd have columns for specific periods. In this example, I have columns for quarters, and then the last column is the yearly total. And I do this for three years. This is year two and year three with their respective quarters uh, before it. So maybe you want to have a way to just show the yearly totals instead of having the quarter information, but not delete it. So one way to do it is using the hide unhide feature. The second way I'm going to show you how to do it is using the grouping feature. And the third way I'm going to show you how to do it is by using custom views. So first with the hide unhide feature, basically what you need to do is just select the column, you left mouse click, and you can kind of just drag it over to the finish column that you want to hide. Right mouse click and click and select hide and instead of doing it one by one you can actually do multiple ones so you would left mouse click here press the control key so you can select non-contiguous cells and do a left mouse click and select this one and those two groups of columns are selected right mouse click and click and select hide and now basically you've got your yearly totals and the other ones are hidden so that's the first way to hide columns the second way to hide columns is with the grouping feature. So what the grouping feature does, it puts these little icons up here where plus and minus, where you can collapse and expand the columns. So what I have here, they are expanded. If I click on that, it'll turn into a plus sign, and they are now collapsed. So you can see that kind of hides it, and it gives a little bit more visual cue to people that you may share this document with that these particular columns can be expand it. So if I click on that, that expands it. Click on that, that expands it. And you click on that, of course, it'll expand it. So how do we set this up? Let me go ahead and make a copy of this one. Or just go ahead and Control C to select all, Control A to select all, Control C to copy. Let me see if I, I can copy everything there. Yes, it does. Let me go ahead and increase this a little bit. So how do we create the grouping. Basically what we need to do is just select that and then we would go under I believe it's under data and group. So what happens now it's grouped that first quarter. I think we can do the same here where we multi-select the columns. I'll press control and then select these columns and group them. Let's see what happens there. No you can't do it. So we have to do it one at a time. So I'll go ahead and select these four columns, click on group, and select these four columns, click on group. And now I've got my groupings. So that's another way to do it, and that's via grouping. Now the third way to do it is custom views. And what happens with custom views is it may look the same here, but you would go under the view tab in the ribbon, and here is a custom view dropdown. So if I click on that, if I only want the years, I would select on year only. Now this takes some setup, so let me show you how to set this thing up. So this particular grouping here to create the custom view is already there, so if I added another custom view, it's just going to show up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this particular table, Control A to select everything, Control C to copy, and bring up a new workbook, Control N for a new workbook, and just Control V to put it here. Now you can see the custom views are not here for this particular workbook, this new one. This is called book one now. The other one was called hide column. So let me go back to work. Let me go back to that new one. And let me go ahead and increase the size a little bit. So this is going to be my initial view. And what I want to do is create a couple views. So my default view or my initial view is I want to show everything. So I need to go under the view tab and custom views, click that, and add a new view. So this one I'll call all, click OK. And now I want to do another view. Uh, you can do as many as you, you need. I'm going to select this, and then control, press the control button to select non-contiguous cells. Left mouse click, select that. Left mouse click and hold, select that. And then right mouse click, select hide. So now I've hidden that, and this is the second view I want to have. So I have to press custom views and click add and let me call, let me call this year only click OK 
So what happened is, is, is it's added this here. And the reason why I have this here is this is a customized group in the ribbon. So in the ribbon you have, excuse me, it's a customized group in this tab. So in the ribbon here, we have this view tab and each of these sections that are separated by these bars is a group. So what I did was I had to add this group. So let me show you how to add this group here. So if I go to right click and go to customize ribbon, let's pretend that that group didn't exist. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and reset that. Okay, reset, reset all customizations. After I've done that, if I click OK, if I go under view, you'll notice that the custom view is here, but that particular customized part is not there anymore. What we needed to do is add that in there. So I'm going to right click, go to customize ribbon, and under the view, I want to add a new group. Not a new tab, because that's the tabs here, but a new group under that tab. So I'm going to click new group here, and I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it custom view. Click OK. And now in this particular group, I need to add commands. So there are commands that are not on the ribbon because those are the ones I created. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to go under where it says custom custom views. So I created those two views, the all and year only, and I'm going to click add. So it's put it under the, this particular command. It's put it under that group. So I click OK. So once I click under view, you'll notice, depending on where you put it, it, it will show up in the as one of the groups, but I put it in here at the end because I had it there at the end. So now if I click on year only, well, if I click on all, it will show all the data. If I click on year only, it will just show the year totals. So there you go. Those are three ways that you can hide columns. One with the custom view. You can go back here. Uh, another one with grouping, and of course, hiding or unhiding the columns. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.